Well, my name is Abuya uh, Mogendi. I'm an advocate of the High Court of Kenya. I practice here in Nakuru under the name and style of Salim Omar and co-advocates. Witness protection is very key to human rights defenders. Absolutely. So what should they pick from this key act? The whole criminal justice system would actually partly depend on uh, witnesses who are also key players. Now, if we lose uh, witnesses, for example, or if we lose uh, the, 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 the import of what they have to produce as evidence in court, in short, we would be doing uh, nothing in, in pursuit of the protection of the rights of those who have been uh, subjected to those violations. Though uh, the various human rights uh, activists that we had today, though they do not have the uh, resources really, uh, we encourage them to partner with one state agencies and non-state agencies that are actively involved in uh, witness protection so that then the sanctity of the whole process is not mad so that then we have a process uh, that foolproof so that then uh, if indeed there is a guilty person they be convicted as so on evidence that is watertight. Sometimes we have report that cannot be relied on in court by human rights defenders? Um, most of the reports that uh, sometimes are not relied upon uh, lie towards uh, evidence that has been collected uh, electronically. We've emphasized this aspect because then if there is evidence or electronic evidence that has been collected, we have emphasized on the aspect that there has to be a certificate. It is important then that while collecting such information, they also, uh, you know, engage with uh, perhaps advocates who would properly advise on the preservation of that evidence and its production in court. Why is it important for human rights defenders to seek consent from the victim of torture? We are asking them to first get their consent because then we would not want them to be again perpetrator of the very torture that we are crusading against. The evidence they are collecting be legally obtained. There is evidence that would be treated as illegally obtained if, for example, it were obtained without the consent of those we seek to enlist as witnesses. So then it is important that if they wish to record statements, then they have to explain themselves to their to-be witnesses so that then if the witnesses are willing to give statements they do so willingly without coercion because if then they are to give information after having been coerced we fall we fall in the trap we would not want them to obtain information by coercion or by inducing in any other way we want them to obtain information voluntarily okay my name is uh, james odiambo I come from Juka Estate in Nakuru. I was uh, representing the community in this forum that was organized by uh, IMLU. Why is it important for you to attend such a training? Well, it was important since uh, some of these things that happen and uh, uh, there are things like uh, domestic violence, then uh, people don't know where to report and they don't know who to, to talk to. It was important for us to come and uh, sit and find out what we are supposed to be doing. The session was conducted by one of the top lawyers in Akuru City. What did you pick from this lawyer? Actually, he took us through very many things. And uh, what I picked was uh, that information is supposed to be given the correct way. Uh, when, when the information is uh, like you reported the first time, then it will not be distorted then you give the right information, that is the best part of it all. Lastly, as you go back to Ojuka Estate, how are you going to disseminate this information? Uh, we are going to sit again with the community to let them know the situation, how it is. In case one has a problem or an issue and feels like it has to be reported, then uh, they, they should know what, what is expected of them.